Forget about the world's tallest building. There's now the world's skinniest building. Pencil towers, or extremely thin buildings, rose to prominence in the 1970s as distinctive elements of the Hong Kong skyline. Major cities all around the world have since imitated this. The New York City skyline has housed some of the world's highest structures for more than a century. Engineers have created some astonishingly thin towers in modern times to make the most of the few sites still left in this congested city. New York now boasts the thinnest skyscraper ever built, an 84-story structure rising from a plot that is only 60 feet wide. Join us today as we explore this uberlux skyscraper and all the details from its design to cost and everything in between. A new addition to Manhattan's famous skyline, the Steinway Tower, also known as 111 West 57th Street, is a building that is 1,428 feet tall and just 57.4 feet wide. With a height to width ratio of 24 to 1, it is also one of the tallest buildings in the Western Hemisphere, falling short of two others in New York City, One World Trade Center, and Central Park Tower. The Steinway Tower was designed by New York architecture firm SHOP Architects and built by JDS Development, Property Markets Group, and Spruce Capital Partners. Steinway Tower skyscraper makes a bold statement with its gracefully dramatic taper. The architects claimed that in addition to honoring the area's historic heritage, their main objective was to create a fresh and daring depiction of the New York skyline. Preserved at the base of the tower is a 16-story building called the Steinway Hall, a historic building known as the former home of the piano maker Steinway and Sons, designed by Warren and Wetmore. The Steinway Hall, which was first built in 1924 and is now a protected landmark in New York, had the previous address of 111 West 57th Street. JDS purchased the lots for the tower in 2013, while the plans for the residential skyscraper date back to 2005. Steinway Hall was landmarked by 2001 and couldn't be torn down as per Landmarks Preservation Commission guidelines. Therefore, when construction on the tower began in 2014, the Steinway Hall was preserved and restored as part of the residential project, and the tower was technically constructed as an addition to Steinway Hall. Property developments in the area were always constrained by the restricted amount of land available and the lack of direct views of Central Park itself. All of that changed in 2014 with the completion of the incredibly tall 157, a thin residential tower that was able to rise 75 floors from a small site to provide views of the park. The project's developers had spent 15 years accumulating air rights from nearby properties and piling them onto their site allowing their tower to rise without being obstructed by other sites. 157 ignited a super slender development boom in Midtown, and with prices skyrocketing in the area, the neighborhood around 57th Street was soon called Billionaire's Row. Other super tall slender luxury buildings along Billionaire's Row include 432 Park Avenue, 220 Central Park South, 520 Park Avenue, and Central Park Tower. Before we continue, if you would like to learn more about billion dollar construction projects around the world, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. While other buildings in the area opted for more contemporary designs, SHOP architects imagined the Steinway Tower as a skyscraper that would carry the Steinway Hall's elegant 1920s design into the city's skyline. The Steinway Tower contrasts with the monotonous glass facades of many nearby new skyscrapers by having bronze latticework and terracotta tiles that change color and texture depending on the angle and source of light. This is an illustration of a traditional skyscraper from New York that has been expertly combined with modern technology to set a superb example of engineering and fabrication. The terracotta panels and bronze latticework also have structural significance as they partly reduce the wind forces on the skyscraper. In addition, the tower's design results in floor-to-ceiling windows with views of Midtown to the south and Central Park to the north. The southern elevation of the tower features many setbacks as it rises, creating a staggered design while narrowing the tower's footprint on upper levels. The northern elevation of the tower rises straight up to the pinnacle. 
The tower's tapering shape was influenced by the famous early 20th century towers in New York. The tower's perfect alignment with Central Park's axis provides residents with a symmetrical view of this famous park, as well as the Upper East Side and Upper West Side. Surely, Steinway Tower does not compromise with the views through the building, rather embraces it. The seamless integration of the new residential tower to the old Steinway Hall is what makes this construction project one of a kind. The skyscraper is made up of 49,000 cubic yards of concrete, rising around a central core, with two sheer walls on the east and west elevations. The construction topped out in April 2019, the steel frame crown that forms the tower's step back and contains its window cleaning systems at the very top, was fixed to the concrete superstructure. July 2015 saw the construction of the tower commence, and the tallest crane ever erected in New York City was installed on the site for operations. The tower's construction ultimately cost $2 billion. According to SHOP Architects, residents of Steinway Tower need not worry that the structure will collapse or split in two during a storm, because the building is made with the highest strength concrete in the world. The tower is equipped with a number of outrigger levels, and an 800-ton tuned mass damper at the summit offers stability by counteracting lateral impacts like severe winds and earthquakes. The structure's extreme dimensions mean that only two elevator shafts are able to serve the residences. To maximize space, the elevators open directly into each apartment and are configured as double-story cars, with service elevators sharing the same shaft. Seven of the tower elevators are within individual suites, while the remaining seven elevators are shared by all residents. The proximity of Carnegie Hall and the Plaza Hotel to Steinway Tower on 57th Street, which is south of Central Park, has long given the tower an air of prestige. In this midtown Manhattan construction, there are 60 luxurious apartments spread throughout the 84 stories of the tower and the adjacent Steinway Hall. It's filled with luxury amenities such as an indoor swimming pool, a private dining room, a double height fitness center, a private study, as well as sauna, steam, and treatment rooms adjacent to the pool. Few residential units have its own private elevator entrance and is spread across 4,500 square feet of living space. The units have an open concept design, with the kitchen flowing seamlessly into the living area. Each bedroom has floor-to-ceiling windows and its own ensuite bathroom. In April 2022, the developers broke the good news to residents who have been eagerly waiting to get their keys, that they could finally move into the building. Although the building's silhouette is skinny, the prices certainly aren't, usually ranging between $7.75 million and $66 million for its different apartments and penthouses. There are at least two penthouses that are asking for more than $50 million. The highest unit in the tower is expected to sell for at least $100 million. This may seem expensive, but for a New York billionaire like Ken Griffin, who just paid $238 million for the penthouse at 220 Central Park South, it wouldn't be out of the norm. Despite the many controversies including multiple lawsuits, unforeseen construction costs, accumulating loans, labor issues, and safety concerns, the Steinway Tower has set a new record in feats of engineering and construction with its super slender design. The building's architects have fulfilled their mission to create a bold and memorable skyscraper. What are your thoughts on this mega project? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.